Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to find the MAC and CRC codes for a Honeywell Home Tuxedo keypad. Uh, before I get into explaining all about the MAC and CRC codes, uh, let me just quickly show you how to find them. So we're at the main screen of the Tuxedo, we're going to choose the gear icon, and then we're going to choose System Info. And then you'll see we have the MAC address and the CRC code right there. So that's how you find them, just as easy as that. Uh, we recommend taking a picture of those or writing them down somewhere so you have easy access to them. Uh, so the reason why the Tuxedo has MAC and CRC codes is because it connects to the internet. Specifically, it connects to a Wi-Fi network, a local Wi-Fi network. Uh, you can't use a hardwired Ethernet connection with the Tuxedo. You have to do Wi-Fi. So, um, you do that, and uh, it's connected to Wi-Fi, and, and the reason you're connecting it to Wi-Fi, uh, you, for a few reasons, uh, it's for relaying automation commands to Total Connect 2.0, assuming it's connected with a Honeywell Vista system that is monitored and set up with an AlarmNet communicator. Uh, it also gets firmware updates from AlarmNet, uh, so if they release um, an update to uh, fix a problem with the Tuxedo, or if they release a new feature, then uh, you might be getting a firmware update, which are, they're, they're downloaded automatically, but it needs to be connected to the internet to uh, get the firmware updates. And also, you'll notice um, at the main screen of the Tuxedo, uh, there is a space for a weather forecast. It looks like it's 69 degrees outside, and it's partly cloudy today. Um, so uh, you get a weather forecast uh, from connecting to the internet. Um, so uh, the Mac and CRC codes, um, you'll actually be providing them to your monitoring company. Uh, when you set up the Tuxedo, um, so that's that's how they'll interface it with Total Connect 2.0 and AlarmNet. Um, so you'll provide that information to them, and then they'll take care of the setup on their end. Uh, you may notice that uh, the Mac often has a prefix. Um, specifically, the Mac it's it's 12 characters, and it's a mixture of letters and numbers. 12 characters, so it's the longer one. And you may notice a prefix, um, a really popular one. Uh, this is the prefix being what it starts with. Um, the popular one is B. 82CA0. That's B82CA0 as the MAC prefix. You, you'll see that on various Honeywell equipment um, and as well as the Tuxedo. Um, and the CRC is only four characters long and it is also a mixture of letters and numbers. Um, just to show you again, uh, we press the setting icon and then we do system info and we see we have ours there and we, you see that our MAC address, um, it does have that prefix. Uh, that B82CA0, and then we have various other ones in there. And then our CRC is, is really short, uh, 6FFC. Um, and you also get other uh, network information there, such as the IP address, the broadcast address, and the net mask. So um, that's, that's the information right there, but it's just conveniently accessible in the system information menu. Um, you don't need to provide a code to get to it. Uh, it's all right there for you. Um, so you will need that information when you're setting up the tuxedo, so just... Um, you, know, you can easily access it if you don't have it already, but otherwise just write it down and um, store it somewhere safe and you can get to it whenever you need to. Um, so that's how you find the MAC and CRC codes uh, for a Honeywell Home Tuxedo keypad. Uh, remember these are used when setting it up um, and they, they do allow for the Tuxedo to um, interface with Total Connect 2.0 and uh, an alarm net. Uh, just remember the Tuxedo is not an AlarmNet communicator. Um, the Vista has its own communicator. It's just connected with the Vista system. So uh, this, uh, this connection is just for um, relaying automation commands, getting firmware updates, and uh, the weather. It's not actually um, relaying security commands. When, when you arm, it's still going through the Vista communicator, the AlarmNet communicator on the Vista. So anyway, that's how you find the Mac and CRC for a Honeywell Home Tuxedo keypad or a Residio Tuxedo keypad. If you have any questions about the Honeywell Home Tuxedo, uh, the Residio Tuxedo, or Alarm Monitoring Services, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video, and remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.